Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Youssef and this is the Canon R6 Mark II. And in this video, I'll be sharing my reasons on why I decided to upgrade from the original R6. If you're also questioning yourself whether you want to upgrade or not, well, I hope this video is going to help you make a decision. But first, a little bit of context. I had the original R6 uh, uh, since the day it came out in July 2020. I chose the original R6 because it was the best camera out there back at the time. I really enjoyed using it. The autofocus worked really well. The handling of the camera is really good. And the video and photo quality uh, was excellent. I loved using this camera. But as soon as I did some video work, especially like client work, that's where I found out that there were so many little things that were bugging me about this camera. And I was wishing that Canon came out with a firmware update that fixed all those things, but that day didn't come, sadly. Then came along the new R6 Mark II, this camera right here, and fixed all of the problems that the original R6 had, plus it added some cool features. All right, stick around, because I'll be sharing my less important uh, upgrades at the beginning, and I'll keep the most important upgrades at the end of the video, so that way you look at my video until the end, or you can skip, do whatever you like, do what you feel like, you wanna go outside, take a walk, do that. But keep in mind though that what's less important for me might be a game changer for you. So why is the Canon R6 Mark II so different? Well, let's start with the first reason on my list and it's megapixel sensor increase. So the Canon R6 Mark II has a 24 megapixel sensor and the original R6 had a 20 megapixel sensor. Four megapixel increase isn't the most exciting upgrade, but it's an improvement resolution over its predecessor and it allows to match the resolution of many other popular cameras. So far, I don't see a big difference really between 20 and 24 megapixel, but the more megapixel you have means you can crop a little more your images. In both cases, you get sharp and detailed images. All right, so reason number two, it's high-speed continuous shooting. Okay, so when you put the R6 Mark II in electronic shutter, coupled with high-speed continuous shooting, you can get 40 FPS instead of 20 FPS. That's a great stills upgrade especially for wildlife and sport photographers. All right, reason number three is false color for video. All right, that is cool. So I never heard of any mirrorless camera that is not a cinema camera that has this feature inside of the camera. That's great because usually I uh, expose my video using zebras. You can see there's a video that I made on my channel. It's like the most uh, popular video on my channel right now. I explained how I use the Canon R6 to expose properly with the tools inside of the camera, the zebras. But now since they made false color available inside of the camera, the Canon R6 Mark II, I started using it and it's really good because usually to have this feature, you'd have to use an external monitor, but now it's cool that they made this available inside of the camera. It does remain active though while recording video, so I customized the depth of field button in front of the camera, this button right here. So let me show you if I record and I, let's say I wanna activate it, I just press on it, it activates, and then I press again, and it disactivates. That way you don't see, you don't look at a screen that is like all full of colors and then you don't know if you're on acid or not. Yeah, so false color makes it really easy to expose a scene. And since I started using it, I don't think I'll be going back to zebras, but I'll see how it works out for me in the future. Reason number four is high frame rate video recording. The Canon R6 Mark II has high frame rate recording in 1080 up to 180p instead of 120p in the original R6. So usually the higher I go is 4K 60p, which is uh, enough slow motion for me in most cases, but there's been some scenarios where uh, and with the original R6, I've used 120p. But now I have access to even higher frame rate recording with 180p. So that can be used to create some cool slow motion shots. All right, reason number five is focus breathing correction. On some compatible RF lenses, you can get the option to turn on focus breathing correction. What that really means is that you won't get that focus breathing Let's say I put my hand right here. You can see the, the lens is like zooming a little bit. You can see like the background is zooming. So with the Canon R6, with the focus breathing correction, you won't get that. Well, on some RF lenses, you'd have to go to the Canon RF, uh, I'm sorry, to the Canon website and see which lenses are compatible with this. Uh, it's not all lenses, so watch out. 
All right, so we're now at reason number six, no more crop in 4K60. So I think that the Canon R6 Mark II is the only mirrorless camera that doesn't have an, a crop in 4K 60p. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. But uh, it uses like uh, a sensor with a 6K resolution and it's downsampling to 4K 60p. And it doesn't have a crop, no crop at all. In the original Canon R6, uh, you had a slight little crop. It was 1.07 times. It doesn't look like much, but when you use a wide angle lens with the, let's say the 16 millimeter lens, it makes it a 17 millimeter lens. And when you have a wide angle lens, you know that every millimeter counts. It makes a big difference. And when you buy a 16 millimeter lens, you don't want to get 17 millimeters. You want to get 16 millimeters because you paid for that lens. So when you have a crop on your camera and that changes your focal length, it doesn't make sense for me, so I was pretty excited when I saw that the Canon R6 Mark II didn't have any crop. And that gets really important when you, especially when you shoot like real estate videos and you're uh, in tight spaces and then you switch to video and then you have a small crop. Well, that restrained the, the environment a little bit more, so yeah. All right, reason number seven is a dedicated photo and video switch button. It's that button right here. Okay, this one is huge. Switching from video to photo on the original R6 was a little bit of challenge, you know? You had to go to this wheel right here and you had to roll over and like, uh, let's say you had your eye on the viewfinder, uh, you had to roll and maybe, ah, oh, yeah, this was video mode, this was photo mode, ah, blah, blah. Now you have uh, this uh, button right here that you can switch from video to photo and that's it as easy as that. Now reason number eight, this one is really important to me, it's customization of different video modes on different dials. Well, speaking of video and photo modes, in all the cameras that I owned before, there was these uh, C1, C2 and C3 dials that you can customize. On the original R6, you couldn't customize those dials for video modes. That made me very angry at first because, you know, you pay 3K for a camera and you don't even have this feature, that kind of sucks, right? But now on the Canon R6 Mark II, they fixed On the it. C1, I set it to 4K 24p. C2, I set it to 4K 60p. And C3, I set it to uh, 1080 180p. So that way, you, you know, it depends like what scenario I'm in and what I want to film but it's really easy now to switch from different video modes. And the same applies to photo. Um, I set different modes to different dials, so it's pretty convenient and it's really easy now to switch modes. Reason number nine is no more recording limits in all video modes. So you no longer have to worry about your video stopping after 30 minutes of recording. All right, so I said no more recording limits, but it's not exactly true. So if you go on the Canon website, it says that uh, it can record continuously for six hours in 4K 24p and one hour in 4K 60p and uh, full HD 180p. Reason number 10, 4K 60p, no overheating. So we're finally here, the last reason. The main reason why I upgraded is no more overheating in 4K 60p. That is huge. And this is really important for me because it's important to have a camera that doesn't overheat. Last summer I did a job where I was hired to film something and then I saw like the icon appearing on my camera that it overheats. I was so stressed, I had to like uh, remove the battery. I flipped the screen so that way the camera can breathe a little bit. And then I put another battery in, the battery that was in my bag. And that way uh, I could record a little bit more before the camera really overheats. But you know, I, back then I, I said, okay, I need to have a camera that doesn't overheat because this is not professional and I don't want that to happen to me anymore. So yeah, hence why the reason why I wanted to upgrade so much to the Canon R6 Mark II because this one doesn't overheat in 4K 20p. Uh, in 4K 24p, sorry. Uh, I saw a little bit of reviews on some YouTube channels about maybe a little bit of overheating in 4K 60p, but you need to record continuously for like one hour. So I don't use 4K 60p to record interviews, so that doesn't matter to me. But anyways, that's pretty cool. That was the reason, that was the main reason why I upgraded. All right, thanks for sticking until the end of the video. And in conclusion, I would say that if uh, you use your camera for video recording, then yes, it's 100% uh, worth upgrading. 
Not so much if you use it for photo though, because uh, the Canon R6 Mark II upgrades is more oriented uh, to uh, video features. So before you go, let me know in the comments which feature resonate with you the most. And of course, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry I didn't post a video in so long. I've been so busy lately in my personal life. I don't know if you can notice uh, with these boxes right here, but I had a baby recently. So that takes a lot of my time. And I don't know how you guys do it with the baby and producing all these videos. I'm like, how do you do it? Let me know because it's so much work. <laughs>